So now let's look at the theory of scanning. Okay. Now there's you back here in the source, and then your destination is going to be some sort of network or target. And so the tools that you have available, or the protocols that you have available between you and your target, is what I call the core four. So you must demonstrate mastery of this core four. Simply, it's TCP and UDP at layer four of the OSI model, and IP and ICMP at layer three. Okay? These are the tools in which you have available to you. So we're going to take apart these protocols and flags and, and all of the configuration options of these, and that's going to make up this whole theory of scanning. Okay? So let's talk about some of the basics first. Uh, in the very, very beginning of this, simply stated, is our host up or down? Is it alive or dead? Okay? So if we get a response back, it's up or it's alive, and if we don't get anything or it times out, then we consider our host down. Okay? Once we know if our host is alive, well, then we can go into, well, what ports or services is that host responding to? Remember, you have one particular IP address here, but you could have 30 or 40 services or just one service. Okay? And then we get a little bit past the basics and we start looking at uh, the vulnerabilities. What weaknesses uh, is our target displaying? Okay? And then of course we can do our diagrams and map this out so we can actually make sense of it. And the biggest mistake that beginners have here is they try to do all of this in your head. You don't have to do any of this in your head. You can draw it out. So do yourself a favor. Get out your, your napkin and your pencil and sketch the stuff out so it actually makes sense. You get no extra credit for doing it all in your head. Okay? Some of the basic techniques that we're going to use is ping sweep. This is where we grab a whole network block or a range of IP addresses and it's just like walking down the street and knocking on everybody's door. Are you home? Are you home? Are you home? Are you home? It seems a little bit repetitive, but basically that's what you're looking for. Okay? And you can use the subnet mask or CIDR notation to facilitate that. Um, now you kind of have to back up here and go to the basic theory of TCP IP. In TCP IP version 4 we actually use subnet masks. That will go away in version 6. And then it's mastery of the TCP protocol. Um, and there's a little clue here that I've always taught which is SRAF up which is SYN, RESET, ACKNOWLEDGE, FIN, URGENT, AND PUSH. These are the different flags. Depending on which flag you set with the TCP protocol, that can generate a different response from your target. Also remember, UDP does not have any flags. So while TCP does, UDP doesn't. Okay, so if we kind of stop right there and zoom back up in here, layer 4, TCP and UDP, TCP has flags, UDP does not. And then the other flip side of that is ICMP or IP. This is where we do our ping sweeps. So it's one, knowing what tool or technique you're using. It's another thing to know what protocol is in play. So don't forget those. Keep, the, keep those on the forefront of your mind when you're going through this. Okay? Also, we're going to dissect the TCP three-way handshake. You have to be a master at, at TCP. Um, and ethical hackers or penetration testers or anybody that's involved in realistically this type of analysis, uh, they must be a master at TCP IP and understanding that three-way handshake. Uh, I often joke that the people that know this stuff as well as we do are firewall engineers and intrusion detection engineers because they spend the most time doing packet analysis. And other things that are helpful at this point are banner grabbing because that can be very revealing about our host or in our targets. Okay? So let's back up here. The, remember, we're the source. We've got to go after a network or a target. And the typical tools that we have to our advantage, or at least if you go um, among the most popular tools, you're probably going to spend your time with HPing 2 or 3 uh, or the Nmap tool. Uh, and in the advanced modules, we'll start looking at how we can uh, use databases to import the Nmap scans and the Metasploit and things like that. But at the basics, you just have to learn how to use the tool and all the configuration options of these tools. Nmap is an extremely, extremely powerful network mapper. And spend your time mastering that. Some of the techniques that we'll talk about are full, open, or basically full connect scans. Every system in existence that responds to TCP can do a basically a, a full TCP connect. Doesn't matter if it's Windows, doesn't matter if it's Unix. If it's 
it's own, if, if you can connect to it, it has the ability to do a TCP scan. However, some of these other uh, ad advanced scanning techniques like Christmas scans or fin scans or null scans, not every system responds to those. But every system should respond to a full open scan or a stealth half, half open scan. The biggest difference is in a full open scan, you're actually completing your TCP three-way handshake. In a stealth or half open scan, you're basically not completing it. You're just basically seeing if you get the response back from your target. Uh, some of the more advanced techniques would be Christmas scans or acknowledgement scans. Acknowledgement scans are great if you want to determine if there's a stateful firewall between you and your target. Uh, so if we back up here and you got you and your target, is there a firewall and intrusion detection here, system here that's filtering out your traffic? Acknowledgement scans respond very, very, very well to that. Um, otherwise, finish scans. This is an advanced technique scan that is really starting the conversation with, I'm done talking with you. I'm finished. Which is pretty abnormal it, to start a conversation with, I'm finished. But believe it or not, some uh, uh, systems actually respond well to that, that technique. Null scans, no TCP flags are set. Idle scans or zombie scans, this is definitely an advanced technique um, because it allows you to find information about your target with, without ever touching it. Um, ICMP echo scans, also called list scans. It's a list scan because you can incorporate DNS results uh, uh, in addition to just getting ICMP back. And then UDP scans, uh, but remember UDP doesn't have flags. Okay, so those are some of the techniques. We started off with the basics, looking at for hosts, ports, and vulnerabilities. But realistically, when we get into the advanced techniques or the advanced uh, concepts, this is where we start doing intrusion detection, invade, uh, evading while we're doing our scanning, and we can use that. You, we can use fragmentation to help throw off the intrusion detection signatures. Um, also, tool efficiency. Being able to write out command line options so that your technique does exactly what you want to do and, and captures your results in the most effective and efficient means. Using proxies to basically hide us as the source so that way our target doesn't know who we are. Um, also camouflaging, tunneling, or encapsulating our traffic. And common examples of that would be like HTTP. Uh, HTTP tunneling or ICMP tunneling or even encrypting it while we're tunneling using something like SSH. Um, also using the concept of being anonymous whether it be through a public website or an anonymizing tool or spoofing our source addresses. So these are some of the advanced um, scanning techniques if you will. Otherwise between you and your target there's really not much that someone can do to stop us from doing this. Pretty much anybody can use these techniques. Right? Unless they start filtering access and using access control lists to limit what they're going to allow you, the attacker, to see, you can pretty much scan all day long. Unless they're hiding, encrypting, or protecting the privacy of their content, if they don't do it, well then the information is going to be disclosed to you. And of course there's anti-spoofing rules which basically make sure that our source and our destination addresses appear on the right side of our intrusion detection or our firewalls. In other words, you should never have a uh, private IP address range on the outside public facing part of your uh, firewall. So anti-spoofing rules also can help. So let's summarize once again. You have you, you have a target. You're going to use the core four, TCP, UDP, ICMP, and uh, IP, either version, version four or version six. That's the only connection mechanism you have between you and your target. Okay? You're going to start looking for hosts, see if they're up or down. If so, what ports and services are they using? Uh, what vulnerabilities are available? And then we can go into a little bit pseudo advanced techniques here and start really manipulating nmap commands and hpin commands. And then finally, make sure that you're anonymous. Make sure that you can hide yourself and make sure as the attacker you're not getting caught. But of course we're doing all of this legally and ethically anyway. So that wraps up the theory of scanning and penetration testing.